Andrea with Sex For You in Houston, Texas, and I wanted to make a quick repotting video just for fun. Uh, my husband got me this really pretty planter. Actually, it was back in January for my birthday, and I have never got around to potting it up. I wanted to find a special plant for it. And um, the cool thing about this is you can actually tilt the pot in all kinds of directions, right? So I wanted something that uh, wasn't too top heavy. I don't want it to fall over. So um, another problem I had was it didn't have a drainage hole. And while I did have one of those spade tipped, uh, the carbide drill bits for ceramic and tile and pots and glass, um, it wasn't big enough and it wasn't uh, wasn't really getting getting through the clay. It's really thick. So um, I held out. I didn't want to like I didn't want to crack it. And I finally got this, it's a hole saw bit, it's a diamond hole saw bit. And um, I was able to get a nice pull in there. This is the half inch. And these aren't cheap. These are, this was about a uh, little, maybe a little bit over 20 bucks. But that means that like the world is my oyster as far as being able to drill good drainage holes in pretty much anything I want to now. Uh, the little, again, the little ones are great, the, the, the like spades but they do leave you with some smaller holes. So you either have to do more or, you know, they work better for smaller pots. So now that I've got a great plant that I think is gonna be a great fit for this awesome planter, um, we're gonna pot it up. So this is Euphorbia spectabilis and it was formally classified as a monodinium. And I just, I can't get over it. I love the word spectabilis because I think it's um, <laughs> just a perfect name for this spectacular and fabulous plant and you might actually remember this plant I potted it up into this head pot I showed you guys how to drill it and um, it's been a great fit so far I think but I uh, I wanted to give the roots some more room give them check on the roots because it gets pretty crazy down in here and it's a it's a gorgeous plant I might even lift it up so you can actually see the roots or the codex a little bit more um, we'll just see if it's ready for that. You do, if you're trying to build, or if you're trying to get a bigger codex on your plants, then you want to leave it buried under the dirt for longer. And another way to fatten up a codex is to you know, trim some of the leaves, do a lot of pruning, so it forces the energy down into the codex. But um, for this plant, I didn't want to, I didn't want to trim the leaves because they're amazing. And I'll move this out of the way for now. And get a little bin. All right. So I just want to. I'm gonna look at this pretty little crystal in there. Um, I'm gonna hold it gently by the base, avoiding the leaves, so I don't break them. And then give it a little tap. Oh yeah. Ooh, it's in there. Okay. So let's get something to loosen this up a little bit. So what I like to do, look at all those holes from that video. Um, obviously I didn't have a hole saw drill bit at that point or I would have only been able to make, need to make two or three holes. Because they make a much bigger hole than these little spade dudes. But again, they get the job done. Ah, okay, here she comes. Oh, this is always really exciting seeing what the roots look like now. Oh. You see it's the soil that's coming off, it's dry. There's a ton of drainage materials in there. Just doing everything I can to keep this lovely plant happy. Okay. And I am going to reuse the soil because it's good stuff. There's a few little dead roots in there, but it doesn't really matter. If you guys hear that honking in the background, that's the Paletas guy. He drives by every day, twice a day, on his bicycle. And it's piled with popsicles and elotes and drinks and 
it's so convenient just to have someone drive by twice a day with delicious things. <laughs> Always get excited when I hear the horn. <laughs> All right, and since this is a larger hole, um, I'm gonna put a little piece of screen down in there and then add some of these some nice fast draining soil back in. A little bit trickier because I can't set this pot down it waddles so put it in there and then let's see how much dirt I need to add um, if I want the plant to be raised up oh it's gonna be cute I think huh yes right about there so it's gonna need a lot of soil because it's it is a deeper pot what that means is all of the extra drainage materials I can use in here to fill it up is going to be really helpful because again what happens if you have too much soil in a pot it's not drying out fast enough you're going to have some problems with the roots you'll have um, either splitting of the cells called plant edema or oedema if they uptake too much water for it to process and that will cause the little cells to break it happens a lot with um, like echeverias and the hybrid set of areas and stuff sometimes they just like freckles but sometimes they look like a lot worse and another problem, if you have too much soil in a pot, if you overpot, it's overpotting, overpot your plants, that soil's not gonna dry out fast enough and it could cause root rot. So, if you are gonna use a bigger pot, let's talk about this real quick. You don't wanna add just a bunch of rocks to the bottom of the pot, even if you have a drainage hole. Because what that does is raise what's called the perched, water table and it's kind of like a sponge if you have a wet sponge and you set it down all of that water and the top is going to move to the bottom of the sponge and it's just going to stay there it's not going to move all the way through it's just how water do and when you're potting up something in a larger pot you do want as much of the soil and drainage materials to go all the way to the bottom so it will wick that water back up and out of your pot and um, otherwise you are going to run the risk again of killing your plant <laughs> sorry it was a lot funny so do not over pot and if you have a larger pot remember it's really important that that soil goes all the way down to the bottom you do need a hole in there no matter what anybody else tells you you need a hole in the bottom of your planters if you have a planter that doesn't have a drainage hole and you want to insert like a plastic pot in there, that's fine. But remember, you need to be dumping the base. So if any water that collects on the bottom, it doesn't get all yucky and cause bacteria and fungus issues with your plants. And um, I like the way this is looking so far, but I do think I want to raise it up a little bit more. Expose that. And I don't want to add that much more organic soil so I'm going to grab some drainage materials and be right back. So I'm going to lift it up a little bit more. Actually I don't want it to be too high because if I do want to position it like that then I don't want it to fall forward so I'm not going to go too crazy. And then once I water this of course I'll wait a few days to water because you saw that there's going to be a few little broken roots and we don't want water getting into the, of any into the root system. We want to avoid introducing any bacteria into the plant, any fungus into the plant. That's how you get a sick plant. And just bring her up a little bit more. But yeah, once I start watering, it's going to, it'll help the soil in there to compact a little bit more, help the plant stay in place. And then eventually she's gonna put more roots down and hold on tighter. So if there was some pumice dust, just wanted to clean it off the roots, just for just for looks. Get it off there. And then maybe even come in and take out a little bit of that dirt. With some little 
stuff stuck in there and that'll show you it'll kind of emphasize how crazy the roots are and then I'm gonna just go ahead and come in while I have a little blush brush handy and give her a little dusting oh yeah this plant's amazing and would look good in any pot but because the pot is special and the plant is special and both the people who gave me the pot and the plant are special to me my husband and my friend Kathy I wanted to put them together and here's that drill bit again again it's a diamond hole saw and um, I know it's, it's it's a pretty penny it's about it's a little over 20 bucks but definitely worth it and um, I really do encourage you to you know throw some of that money that you're throwing at your at new plants towards accessories and other you know products that are going to help keep your plants happier reduce stress on you and them grow lights drill bits nice pretty pots right and see i got these new shelves finally got some shelves they were only 10 bucks from ikea but i would have paid double if they would have come assembled already but um thinking i'm gonna put this gal up here somewhere Oh yeah, it's perfect. A perfect match. See, so you can tilt it over a little bit more. I'm not gonna go too crazy because I'm a bit of a klutz. But I guess that way, if it starts tilting towards the sun, it's gonna make it really easy to just turn the pot or tilt the pot. I actually had been waiting to pot this up until I had a minute to make a video for you guys. And I hope you enjoyed watching it. And if you ever get a chance to get one of these Euphorbia Spectabilis plants in your life, I highly recommend it. And you have my full support in spending a pretty penny on it and any pretty planters that you see that catch your eye. Thanks for watching. <laughs>